I'm Angela, I'm from Philadelphia, and I have OAB. It was very frustrating knowing that my body was doing something that it didn't normally do and just wasn't able to find out or figure out at that time what it was. I had a woman coming into my office to say her husband had taken her finally on a beautiful cruise in the Caribbean and she had a beautiful green silk outfit on and they were dancing on the dance floor. And she had kept OAB secret from her husband for at least three years. And in the middle of the dance floor, she lost all of her bladder contents. Forget about the ruined dress. She was absolutely mortified in front of her husband who had no idea she had hidden it and from all of the people on the dance floor. I first noticed I had OAB. Probably I was shopping with my mother. I went to Europe in 94, 95. I must have went to the bathroom maybe four or five times during the sh shopping trip, and I thought to myself that it was somewhat normal for me. My mother's like, why do you keep going to the bathroom? So I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, there's something must be wrong with you because you're going to the bathroom so much. I noticed that on the bus trips, I would have to stop and ask the bus driver to, you know, let me make a pit stop, and I couldn't figure that one out. For a while, I just thought I had bladder infections. Um, I kept saying, I'm, I have to have a bladder infection. I feel like I have a bladder infection. Something's going on. Um, I'm waking up in the middle of the night. Uh, I have to constantly go to the bathroom. Sometimes I feel like I can't even make it. It makes life a little bit more difficult in the respect of things that I would have done in the past, I, I think twice about. I noticed it was getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, I couldn't even go an hour without having to go to the bathroom. And then I got it checked out. As soon as that ship docked, she was in my office to get a diagnosis and a treatment plan, and we were able to help her. 